Hello everyone, my name is Yogesh and today I am giving lecture on subqueries. Most often what I have found is programming face difficulty in building subqueries. So in this lecture I will try to make it simple for you to build subqueries. Uh, subquery has just basic three rules. Okay. We, uh, we can also say that we can place subquery only in three places in a SQL statement. Okay. Uh, okay. To be clear about this lecture, I will be covering select statement only because mostly we use subquery within the select statement. And secondly, we will uh, perform our queries on Northwind database. Okay, let me show you that. This is the database. You can download it from uh, Microsoft website. You can just uh, what you have to do is you have to just type Northwind database on Google, and you will uh, you have to click on the first link that is Northwind database dot com, and you can download this database from there. We will be performing queries on on this database. Okay. Okay. Now coming back to our lecture. In this lecture, we will cover three places where we could place subqueries within a select statement. Okay, first place is uh, between select and from clause. Okay, and the second is between from and where, and third is after where clause. Okay. Now coming to uh, the first one, uh, when we have to place subquery between select and from. This is very simple. The rule is, the subquery can only return one single value, one row and one column. It cannot return multiple values. Okay, this is the rule. Subquery can only return single value. Okay, let's see its uh, example first. Then we will come uh, on description later. Now here uh, in this query, let me just bring it down here. Okay, in this query, what I'm doing is I'm selecting all the uh, customers from the customer table, and with this subquery, what I'm getting is I am getting the first order. Okay, this first. first order which customer has placed. I'm just getting the order ID. Of the first order uh, of this cu of every customer for each customer. So if you will see the output of this query. This is the output. This is the first order placed by this customer. This is the first order placed by this customer, and so on. So if I break this query down, and if I will see this, what uh, I'm just I have ju what I did is I just just copied this subquery to here and just replace the customer ID which ha has to be supplied from the customer table with any of this customer. Okay, and if I will place this one. And if I will run this subquery, this will give me a first order, uh, first order ID of this customer. Okay. Now, what this subquery is doing, it is returning only a single value because there is a top one uh, 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 allies, uh, top one clause we have mentioned on the subquery. What if I do is uh, turn this to two? This will give an exception. But the exception is subquery returned more than one value. So, what I was saying is. In when we are placing subquery between select and from, you can only return one single value at a time. You cannot return multiple values. Uh, multiple values means multiple records or multiple columns. So both uh, both the cases. Okay, what if I do like order date instead of this order date also? This will give you an exception also because now it is returning more than one column so what it is saying only one expression can be sub specified in the select list when the subquery is not introduced with exist okay so this is where we have to do is you, you can only supply one select one uh, required field one value only okay with the subquery when we are placing it between select and from okay now coming to the, the second example in this example what I am doing is I am just summing up the fright amount basically there is an order table and we have a fright amount there what I am doing is I am just summing it according to each customer so what I am doing is I am selecting all the customer from the customer table and getting their some of their uh, fright amount so sum is an aggregation operation operator so uh, so it will sum up all the fright amount so here uh, one more thing you have to notice is this subquery is having no allies. The column name is no column name. Okay, we have the in the output. So what uh, what if I remove this column name from here and run my query? This will give an output. The column name is coming some amount, and this has been specified outside the subquery, which we have given a name to this subquery allies with this subquery. Okay, what if I specify uh, any column name in between the subquery? If I run this query, it doesn't matter because the name inside will be overrided by the name outside the subquery which we have specified to this column okay so uh, the deal is there is no requirement there is no particular rule that you have to specify allies for the uh, for the columns which are been calculated or uh, which have been uh, doing we are for which we are doing aggregation and some other operation so column name is not mandatory okay 
you cannot uh, you don't require to have any uh, column name to this one so the total rule become is subquery can only return one single value and no alias to any return uh, any return is required return value is required okay now these are the some correct statements now coming to the wrong one like what if uh, my select statement is returning multiple records like i am selecting a val column from abc where i have specified a condition and it is returning multiple values to this like multiple values like this this is returning 12 32 45 etc so this will give an exception because we cannot have multiple value in a single column single cell basically and what if i just uh, name it as star also and suppose this query is returning multiple columns then uh, then also it will give an exception because we cannot place multiple column within a single cell so that's why this rule uh, is mandatory that we can only return only a single value okay and also alias to the column name is not required if you will miss it doesn't matter you have to give alias to the subquery outside the when uh, outside uh, where the subquery is placed okay now coming to the second rule that is when we have to place subquery between from and where okay now in this the rule is very simple you can return multiple rows and you can return multiple columns but there is a thing alias to each column returned by the subquery and the subquery itself has to be given an alias and this is mandatory okay so now let's cover the output some of the example for this one like suppose i have this query what it is doing is it is returning two columns and with the multiple records we have a number of record five number of records okay now what i am uh, doing is i'm just copying this query here in a subquery after where after from okay so after from will come in the category of between fair, uh, from and where so what this query is doing is this is giving an output same output um, i have just inputted this query in a subquery and i am just selecting all the records from here so what if I remove the column name from this query? If I run this individually, this will return an output that is no column name specified. But when I'm returning it as a subquery, I'm getting its result as a subquery. It will give an exception that no column name has been specified for the column one. So we require this column name. Also, what if I just remove the uh, name of the subquery? And if I run this query, this will also give an incorrect syntax exception because uh, name allies to the subquery uh, is also mandatory so this is uh, the basic rule okay now coming to uh, the some of the database examples now what i am doing is i am selecting order id order date from and customer id from the orders table so run this query this has the output i am I'm joining it with the customer table so uh, on the basis of on the query uh, the query which I have named as t1 t1 dot customer ID should be equal to the customer dot customer ID so what if I return any uh, and column with without uh, a single name okay first of all let's see the output first then we will cover more experimentation on this query okay I ran this query and this is the output I have this order date and order from with that customer so what I am doing is I am just adding one more column to it if I run this query, the last column will have 6 value, the value name 6, and there is no column name over this. And if I will run this query, this will give an exception that the no column name was specified for the column 4th in T1 query, and T1 is our allies to this query. Okay. Now what I am doing is, I am just uh, removing this 6 from the query. Also, what I am doing is, now I will remove the allies to the query, and again this will give an exception error for the incorrect syntax, because allies to the subquery is also mandatory okay mm, okay there is one more thing now suppose we have this query what it is doing is it is getting customer id and the most recent order by that customer okay it is very simple because it is returning maximum order id for the customer so it is returning uh, most recent uh, order id for that customer so what we have to do is here is i'm just joining it with the customer table and getting the output back but the thing is here i have to give a allies to this one if i will run this query uh, the subquery it will give me output but if i will run it now you can see there is no column name and if i will run this query this will give an exception because no column name has been specified to the column one that is this maximum order id and what if i just provide the allies to this order uh, this column then okay uh, then this query will run and give us the output which we require okay 
so this is very simple that allies to the uh, query itself that is this t1 and the column inside the query is mandatory okay now coming to our description so this is the basic rule subquery can return multiple rows and multiple columns and allies to columns and subquery itself is mandatory okay now these are the some correct examples like we have covered now coming toward the third rule that is the subquery after where this rule is very much similar to the first one that is uh, when we have to place subquery between select and from the only change comes here is you can return multiple value only in the case of in operator when you have in operator you can return multiple values now let's cover the example first then you will be more clear about this one okay now coming toward this one now what this query is doing it it is selecting first customer from the customer table if I will run this query it will return first customer ID from the customer table and uh, what I'm doing is I'm selecting all the orders for the customer ID which is equal to the customer ID returned by this subquery so if I'll run this query this will return all the orders by this customer ID what if I change it to top 2 this will give an exception because we cannot have multiple values in front of an equality operator that is equal to operator we cannot have these uh, multiple values for these operators we have to only return we can only return one value but what if I have this in clause I can have the multiple customer ID okay so now we have multiple customer ID returned by this subquery and I am using in clause so this query will give me the output because multiple orders uh, multiple values can be handled by in operator so this is the thing okay uh, so the rule is we can have multiple values only in the case of in clause or in the exist clause also because exist doesn't have to do anything with the columns returned by the query it just return uh, it just check whether the record has been returned or not so you can have this exist and in clause the main, main thing is uh, you ha can uh, okay uh, one more thing there is no uh, allies to the name uh, the d uh, data returned by the subquery is required it is same as the first rule and also you can only run one single column okay uh, whenever even if it is a case of in statement you can only return one single column you can have multiple values but other than that you can only return one single value that is one column and one row okay uh, if uh, there is any question you can ask me on my email id and you can download this script from this website that is textfile.in my email id is yogesh.mahala.gmail.com you can mail it and you can also comment below this video so that i could answer your queries thank you have a great day